Welcome back. My name is Nick. And I'm Justin. And welcome to the Wag House. Where we review whiskey, liquor in general, tobacco, whatever we want. All sorts of things. Don't even worry about it. So today, we're doing a two-parter. We're doing a cigar and a whiskey edition. All right, Nick, so we haven't actually done a cigar review before. No, we haven't. So we're outside in the ambience. There's going to be some dogs barking, some children playing in the background, but it is what it is. Outside's outside. Of course. So what, so what do we have? Uh, so today we got the Warfighter Tobacco Edition. Okay. Uh, I think this is their third batch of uh, Victory Edition. Okay. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it's um, it retails from like their website like around, uh, let's just round up to 18 bucks. Per stick? For a per stick. Right. And I know they do have like a five cigar deal. All right, so we have smoked this before. Yep. All right, so we're gonna cut, so instead of taking like time to do a half hour to an hour video, smoking yeah. a whole cigar. Exactly. Um, we're gonna, we already smoked one and we took some notes. Yep. And then we're gonna kind of go through it again and kind of refresh our memory with, yep. with this, a new cigar. That's a new one. And, uh, well, let's talk about give, it. Give our opinions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are we pairing this with? So we're we've done this video before. Remember we did the cowboy. Yeah. But we, that was at the American whiskey one. Yes. So we don't want to go to do like too detail about it. We'll leave a, a link below to actually where you can see our previous video on the cowboy. Um, but we're just gonna talk about a little brief history about it. You know, like they're from Wyoming. They got the whole cowboy. American spirit, and that's basically what it is. Yeah, so you got the bottle with a bolo tie on yep. it, and it's. But this is the rye. It's not. It's not the uh, the American yeah. like we did last time. So it's expecting to be a little different. Yep. Uh, ooh, it's just sweeter. Yeah, it's for rye. It's pretty. It smells sweet. So yeah, it's a. Uh, mm. It smells already smooth to me. I mean, I really like the other one, the yeah, American whiskey. That's kinda, so I'm. I feel like it's a multi kind of. Same anyway. Try it out. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man, I like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. It is. It's super really, smooth. Really it's, smooth. It's, really. It's light. It's like yeah, really light. I, was, I say very, very yes. thin. Yes. Yeah. It's very, it's very light, smooth. Ooh, very, very, very subtle flavors. Exactly. Wow, it's like almost like drinking water. Yeah, for real. That is that is that yeah. is excellent. Actually, I think like this is better than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're both different. They're different I think this, this one, is, this, this one's a lot lighter. Yeah. It's just yeah. like all around, it's very smooth, easy to drink. I wouldn't even notice. Honestly, I'm drinking like liquor. Yeah. Well, I, you know? I, I didn't. I did not feel that go down at all. Not at all. I wonder how strong is this thing. Uh, you know what? I forgot even to check how strong it was. It's 81 proof. All right. So it's not. Yeah. It's not super strong, but it's like. But it's better than most because most of them was like. Well, actually, never mind because it's it is around around that 80, that 80 proof. Price, 80 proof. But uh, range. how much is this thing? I think I got less for thirty, less than thirty bucks. All right, so it's good, pretty reasonable price, kind of like price. normal price for an eighty proof, yeah, you know, liquor, and uh, well, that's, that is really good, actually. Yeah, you know what? Just you know, so we just quick one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine too. Yeah, it's, I think. It's, not, it's not super strong. No, but it's, but this is like this is everyday drinking. It is. I think, I think so too. And no bite, no bitterness. It's sweet. I just sweet. It's kind of dangerous, actually. I can yeah. probably see my, I can see like myself like kind of killing a bottle and not and even, not even notice. Oh wow, that is, but, this is excellent, guys. You guys got to try this. Oh, this is, this it's, is amazing. It's so good. I, let's go into the cigar now. Yep, man. let's light these suckers. So with these, there's a, there's a little pigtail on the back, which we need to cut off. Mm -hmm. um, the wrapper goes all the way around the front. So in order to make it burn evenly, we're gonna have to cut a little bit of the front off. So, yep. Justin, this uh, this is a Toro size, right? We can safe to say. Yeah, Toro, not quite a Churchill. Definitely bigger than, than a Robusto. Yep. The wrapper, I'm pretty sure the wrapper is some type of Brazilian wrapper. Okay. I, I forgot what they call it. It was like Monta Fina or something. And it's just Nicaraguan tobacco. And it. it's just, yeah, Nicaraguan tobacco. So. Okay. All right. So you chose the V cut. Yep. Because that's a different draw than like the regular like straight cut. Exactly. I like uh, this punch. I have this punch I use. Though, like, it's kind of like a handcuff key. Kind of like, but it's got a point on it. Kind of stick that in there. Light these up. Yeah, let's do it. So we got them lit. Yep. And so for me, the first thing I notice is very bitter. It is bitter right in the beginning of it. Yeah. You know, like like we did last time, right? And like we said towards the beginning, it's a little hard on the draw. It's a little bitter. 
but <clears throat> the more I think the more we smoked it, it starts started getting more mild. Yeah, and then I, I feel like more like mid cigar. That's when all the flavors start coming out. Yeah, I agree. So like, yeah, so mid cigar to the sweet spot, and that's where where it got like it actually got really good. Yeah, it got real good, <laughs> and surprisingly enough, like we smoke a lot of cigars. <laughs> The nicotine got me hard on this one. Yeah, so it's a, it's a little, little bit, a little bit stronger maybe than like most. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I would expect that from a special edition. You know, you know, just more like just learning more about this company, right? Obviously, Warfighter Tobacco, veteran owned, yes. which we support veterans. Yes. Um, they're, uh, I think they're consists of like five dudes relatively all served in like the national guard um some of them i think one or two did active duty all right um but they ran together and they made this this product like i mean i say products like it's a big it's, yeah, it's a big they have, they, have a, they have a whole like regular line yes you know they have like a kind of like a um, kind of like a higher end like class of mm -hmm. like the three cigars and they got not say like low end, but like mm, it, more and more everyday ends. Everyday ends, yeah. You know, and so they have uh, like the you know like the standard um, mild to mild, medium, and and, uh, and, and bold, dark. Yeah. yeah, bold. Um, we typically like their mediums, right? I mean, we've we've had the sample packs, right? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I did like all of them. Yeah. But the I think the mild ones, and I think this one is considered no, bold, yeah, right? Yeah, it this is. This one's more it's, bold. It's but I like bold. this one a lot too. Yeah, I know they're based out of San Antonio, Texas. Oh, no, they, excuse me. They said they have a store in San Antonio, Texas. So right. I'm not quite sure like where, where their headquarters is. Where their headquarters is, but it says on their website, San Antonio, Texas. So we're gonna go from there. Yeah, I, know. Would, I would assume they're probably more Texas-based anyway. Yeah, they're a little bit more, uh, you know, guns, tobacco, alcohol. Yeah, sounds you know. like Texas right there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not surprising that they're they're from there. Um, I don't know more about them. They got like some really cool like accessories, right? We've yeah. been, we've got like some travel kits. We even got like this. We have a, a black and red like this is like their Ruck um, humidor travel size. Yeah, it's actually made by Pelican. Yeah, um, and uh, I got black because black is sexy. Yeah, and I got orange because I wanted to stand out. So if someone tries to steal it, I'll know. It's got you know <laughs> a <laughs> actual coin on it um, as a logo, and it's a. Uh, yeah, I kind of mix it their own. It's mm -hmm. got the, their Warfighter logo. Yeah. You know, overall, like, for our first, this is our first cigar review. Yeah. You know, so it's so kind of... It's kind of, it's kind of rated in stages. I, I would say the beginning, the bitterness, yeah. like, I would say it's like a five for me. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a five, too. Yeah. Just because it's, it, it was a little hard and harsh in the beginning. Yeah. Not like, like, I'm not harsh in like a bad way. It's just like bitter and a little hard. You really have to like start getting towards the middle. When, when we start getting towards the middle, I'm going to give that like an eight. I really like that. I agree. Flavors. I agree. I agree. The middle, yeah. the middle, I would, I would say the middle is like, I will say an eight. I don't, actually, I'm going to say a seven. Mm. Just because, um, you know, you, you typically like a little bit darker than I do. You know, yeah. mine, mine like it's still... It's definitely a medium-ish, yeah. But I still like it's still leaning on the like the dark side. Yeah. You know, which is <laughs> like let's not like my women a little darker, <laughs> a little tan, a little dark. <laughs> it's all right. But, you know, I don't I don't mind my blondes. No. <laughs> but um, so yeah, towards, it's, 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 yeah, the flavor in the middle is probably I would, I would say seven. Yeah. I think right. oh they do they do like they mix three different kinds of uh, Nicaraguan. Uh, fillers exactly. right? right like tobaccos right so i think we really hit all three flavors once it starts hitting like the middle that's, yeah, that's for sure that's probably the intended flavor yeah so I, I can get that okay and then um towards the end to me like the, the longer like it burns mm -hmm. the more i like it mm. so i think i think towards the end i'm probably gonna give it like an eight because yeah. it, it, i think it milds out the more the more you burn i like it too and i especially like you know all the Smokers in the army and stuff too. They always like that nicotine fix. Yeah, you will get it from just. So as far, this. As, far as far as like nicotine content, I'm gonna put yeah. that at nine. Yeah, nine, easy. Because right. I I couldn't even like finish. It's actually it's actually maybe a little much for me because my my nicotine um, uh, tolerance is maybe not you know not as high as most like. I don't dip all the time. I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. You know, only thing I smoke is, is is cigars. Yeah. I don't do dip. I don't do chew. Um, or, you know, so. I would say, like for me, like it's it's pretty. So, when we got this right, and they got that five pack deal. That's when I got it, and honestly, for the five pack deal, it was cheaper, and it is it's great for because it's honestly it's just meant for you and me to smoke this anyways. Yeah. 
you know, that fifth stick will probably just be one of those I give to like my master sergeant or something. Yeah. You know, just tell him like, hey, master sergeant, you got you need to try this out, man. This is a great smoke. Because I know he's all about them cigars too. Yeah. So, all right, guys, if you liked our video, go ahead and click on the links below. It's going to take you to our most recent uploaded videos. Also, if you uh, let, you know want to try some cigars, go and order from Warfighter. If you like cowboy, order a cowboy or buy a cowboy from your local liquor store. Liquor store. Uh, leave like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know your opinions. And uh, cheers. Cheers.